Hi, welcome to the Quick City Workshop. My name is Christoph and I'm busy trying to make a self-running magnet motor. Um, it's experimental. Um, as I showed you last week, um, my inspiration for this uh, came from a guy in Holland that built this very novelty thing. And I'm trying to replicate what he did but also trying to see if I can do it a little bit differently and uh, this is my effort uh, sit back and enjoy watching me struggle with this thing So for my magnet flipping mechanism, I just took a piece of aluminium solid. I think this is eight millimeter. And I flattened an area there. And that area is just enough to hold one of these neodymium magnets. So there. Um, it's like that, but then I also made these two little uh, aluminium tubing pieces that I cut like that. A little lip. So the idea is that I can change the magnets easily. And this is just an O-ring with a piece of heat shrink in between so it works like this first put that there then that then the other one facing that way like that and if I move this over to there these two pinches the magnet in place That's just my idea of making this part. This way I can exchange the magnet, take it out. I'm not gluing it in there. This is all non-magnetic materials. And I, this is thick enough for me to drill a hole through to put the, the cam and I can change it. I'm not gonna bend, bend it too much. Uh, that's a taper fit, so if I force it in there, it stays that way, and it's strong enough to flip this over. So if I don't like the shape of this, or I want to change it, I'm just make a new one. This is a piece of non-magnetic stainless steel, and that's a bicycle wheel spoke at the top. It's also non-magnetic. So as long as everything I'm using is non-magnetic, then this is cool. So to get this in place there, I just need to, to disassemble it. 
and push it through the two holes. So to lessen the friction, um, I've used these little bearings, but um, I 3D printed these parts to fit around this, so to make it slightly bigger, like that. And that just gets glued together like this. I end up with this. And these are bicycle wheel spokes, uh, non-magnetic. Non so, and then if you can see, you can see it's a small hole there. And I'm just pressing it in place there. So, and then if that goes around, it activates that magnet switches it around like that it enters turns it <clears throat> so let's put all four of them in that's and that whole assembly is just the magnet is clamped there so that I can turn it. I played around and I found that the range there when it's 90 degree perpendicular to the wheel and the magnet enters and then when it's in the middle there it briefly turns this way and then it propels the magnet further away if it's only like that magnet comes in and it goes around you can see up to there but if it's turned this way then there's more resistance the magnet gets propelled further <coughs> playing around with the angle if it comes in when the magnet is that angle it pulls it to the middle if the magnet is slightly more of that angle then there's resistance before it enters and so that's not a good thing so I'm at the point where I can start experimenting with different angles here Um, what would be nice is if I could um, make everything adjustable. Um, the distance that this magnet, distance from there, there can adjust that distance. Um, also, the alignment this way. And another conclusion that I made is that this wheel there's a little bit of friction inside this bearing very very little but it's not frictionless so i'm losing momentum there even even if there's no magnet if i spin this it only spins a little while not long enough um, i've tried a spring here uh, the spring was too tight so ended up using a counterweight and it's just a piece of gut that's like that around that wheel and around this wheel so I can adjust that also the, 
the resistance. It needs to be pulled back in that in that position all the time. And I can also adjust the the place where the gut is pulling on the that lever. That also gives me a adjustment in the strength of the resistance. So I have my mechanism, this mechanism that turns the magnet this way. I've got a cam system down there where the wheel And I don't have a stopper on this side yet. Well, that screw is a sort of a stopper, but I need to make an adjustment. For the time being, this is my adjustment there, just so I can play around with that. So basically, I'm happy with this part. Not so happy with the wheel. I think I need to redesign this. After the fact, also realized that this is like a, a wind turbine, so it'll also have wind resistance. I'm, I must make these spokes so that they have less resistance. Because I'm not, I'm not going to run this in a vacuum. So let's see if I can manually make this running, 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 running. in that position and I flip this over it's there it's entering it's in the middle there if this flips over it pushes it away and it almost makes it to the next magnet let me do that again so that also tells me my magnets are not exactly the same because this one pushes it and this one it gets stuck there next one also it's stuck. Oh, there it goes. This one. That one also works. So you can see that's the process of eliminating problems. There's a lot of things, wind resistance, um, balance, friction, even the sound it makes is energy. So if I can get it to make less of a sound, it will also be less energy. Let's see, uh, um, I can also adjust the, the distance the magnet is from, it's pinched in there. I can make the magnet stand out like that. Then it's closer to the, to the thing, there's more resistance on entry. I did not weaken the magnet yet. I feel that I would rather play around with the magnet as it is and just see what is happening here. It's 
and maybe I'm gonna lose this motor just gonna put a shaft with a with a sharp point pinched between two plates and re 3d print a different wheel and there's also a possibility that I would add an extra point here for an extra magnet because it seems like some of these if it enters it actually gives enough momentum for it to pass another magnet and maybe that magnet will give it enough momentum for the next one but it it sort of it's just not enough so I'll put some mounts there, um, some fastening places, but I'm going to leave the magnets out for now. Try with the four magnets and make a more sturdy, overall sturdy construction. Because everything's a little bit wobbly here. Uh, there's vibration there. It's also a loss of energy if this thing would turn. So, yeah. I was hoping to get something closer to a running prototype, but it was wishful think thinking. It's going to take a while playing around with all these variables. You can see uh, my problem with my bearing. Um, it's spinning, but it loses momentum very quickly. There, yeah, it stops. Because I would like it to spin by itself for a longer time and not lose any energy from friction. I hope you enjoyed watching. Please subscribe and hit that like button. I'll see you next week.